Today, we are going to be testing our aquarium water using the NT Labs multi-test kit. This is an all-in-one solution for maintaining optimal water quality in your freshwater aquarium. I've been having a stroke of bad luck with my tank in my office lately, and while I want to tell you all that it's just maybe that this tank is cursed and it's not me, I thought maybe we should do a little water test first. I have a 55-gallon freshwater planted aquarium here that is home to a few loaches, quarries, and knifefish. Let's check out the test. Upon opening, you will see it's got a pretty neat design. It includes test tubes, your reagents, handy dandy stickers to make labeling easy, and instructions that walk you through what every test is. This kit includes tests for six critical parameters, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH, general hardness, or GH, and carbonate hardness, or pH. It also has a nice little calendar system to make it easy for you to track and then look back on your test results. Lately, I've just completely stopped using those test strips that you see everywhere. I just don't feel like I can rely on them when something goes wrong. With this kit, I can. For no practical reason, I'm going to start off with pH. pH is the measure of alkalinity, or acidity, in the water. If you flip the box around, you'll see it has super clear and easy to follow instructions. pH is on a scale of 0 to 14. Very acidic water has a pH of 0, and very alkaline water has a pH of 14. You generally would like to stay neutral and say between 7 and 6. I'm putting in 5 drops of the reagent, and then just going to give it a bit of a swirl, or in this case, shake. And then simply compare it with the color coded graphic here to find your levels. It looks like I'm sitting right in the range where I want to be. Ammonia is the main waste product produced by feeding your fish. It can also be generated by the decay of uneaten food or organic matter, such as plant leaves. Ammonia is highly toxic to fish, but is broken down to less toxic nitrite by the beneficial bacteria in your tank. So next up, nitrite. Nitrite is produced by the beneficial bacteria in your tank as they break down harmful waste ammonia. Although not as toxic as ammonia, nitrite is still harmful to your fish's health. So far so good, let's move on. Nitrate is produced by the beneficial bacteria that sits in your water and filters as they break down the fish's toxic waste products, aka ammonia and nitrite. Nitrate is not particularly harmful to your fish, but excessively high levels can cause problems with plant growth because nitrate is the plant nutrient. Oftentimes, if your nitrates are too high, you will also have problems with excessive algae in your tank. All right, next up. KH, or carbonate hardness, also known as total alkalinity, is a measure of the buffering capacity of the water in your aquarium. Buffering capacity refers to how well your tank can resist changes in pH. Fluctuations in your tank can be prevented if you have sufficient enough levels of KH to protect your system. Next up, GH, or general hardness. Water lies on a spectrum between soft water and hard water, depending on the amount of dissolved minerals. The more minerals, the greater the hardness.
If you aren't using RO or reverse osmosis water, you should absolutely test the GH of your tap water as well. It can be very difficult to lower your GH without using RO water, and we'll talk about that in the next video. I love this test because I can trust that I'm getting an accurate reading every time. Considering that this kit guarantees nearly 200 uses, this is an offensively affordable tool to add to your arsenal.